Hey co friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today the hairstyle challenge continues because that's what we're doing all year long. We're trying new curly hairstyles, forcing ourselves not to just wear our hair down every single day or in a bun. So if you guys wanna see more hairstyles, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. But today I'm gonna to try something I've never done before, a cute like faux, French braid look without us being able to do a French braid. Man, if I could braid, my life would be so much easier for this challenge, but <laughs> here we are. So this hairstyle is also good for like those wash days that you don't feel like doing a wash day and you want to push it just like one or two more days. That's when you would do this hairstyle because it doesn't take any curl definition at all. It could be as frizzy as possible. It could be dry really doesn't matter. We're gonna hide everything in two little like braid puff thingamajiggers. So let's get started. Shout out to my curl friend collective scrunchie. Slides right off with ease because it's silk and so cute. My scalp will always tell me that it's wash day before my actual curls. Like these can be refreshed, but my scalp's getting a little, a little dry, a little flaky. So I'm going to first, what should I do first? Let's put this down the middle first. We want a nice middle part. All you do is get like a comb and you pull it back and then you separate. Oh God, it's so hard to separate on dry hair. Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> Ow! Okay. Ooh, oh yeah, we got some flakes. It's a little dry. Look at the hair. <laughs> So I'm gonna grab my Sunday to Sunday Root Refresh. This is a micellar rinse infused with apple cider vinegar. This is gonna help get rid of some of those flakes. Kind of like cleaning my scalp without actually washing it. This is really good to use after you work out to get rid of any like sweat that you might have had. Brush any little flakes away until we are ready to wash it. So I'm gonna put this part just away so I don't mess up my part. And now let's just spray this side with some water. And to give it a little bit of moisture, let's just try something new. I'm trying to use as many new random products as possible. This is the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-In Conditioner. I always just like because it literally looks like honey. This has honey, olive fruit oil, castor oil, aloe vera leaf juice, bilberry fruit, sugar cane, sugar maple, a lot of sweet stuff. It's supposed to provide maximum hydration. I think I've used this like once before. I've never talked about it in a video, but let's use it now. Oh, okay. It's very honey-like. Okay. Camille Rose does win for sweetest smelling products. Like, oh my goodness. It smells like freshly baked cookies. Like you just wanna eat it. It's a very interesting, like slimy consistency for a leave-in conditioner because we're so used to creams. But it smells like a cake or like sweets. It kind of feels like you're rubbing syrup in your hair. <laughs> All right, let me just do some light detangling here at the bottom. Okay, there we go. Now for the hairstyle part. Oh, I'm so nervous. I've seen a lot of different curly girls do this hairstyle before. The most recent video that I was inspired by is by Chelly's Curls. Make sure you follow her. She's like the hairstyle queen. She makes everything look so easy, but I don't know how easy it's gonna be for me. I do have a bunch of these little black rubber bands. You can get them, I think at like the dollar store, any hair beauty supply store, just about anywhere. But first, we are going to section off this front piece. Just about that much. This is where the postpartum hairs are gonna get interesting. So here's section number one. Then I'm going to make my first ponytail. Okay, section one. Now I'm gonna grab another section. 
Then you make your next little ponytail and you connect it. To hold everything in place, I'm going to use my extreme styling gel. It's like a gallon of gel for like $5. <laughs> this was from Walmart. And let's just get this section, smoothing it out. And then you take the first piece and connect it to the second. And we're just gonna continue to make little ponytails and connect them. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Man, she makes this look so easy, but it's really not. I mean, it's not hard. I'm just so bad at hairstyles. <laughs> okay, next section. I don't know what to do with all this because this is like too small and short to do anything. So that'll probably be baby hairs. Let's grab a nice little chunk here. A little bit of gel. Smooth that in. And then connect the ponytail. Oh, my arms hurt. <laughs> I feel like French braiding would be so much easier if I just learned how. That might have to be a challenge for me this year. Now we just keep adding more and more hair, more and more sections. Okay, pieces are getting bigger. Still connecting. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I feel like you could never see like my parts when I do hairstyles. It just all like blends together. I don't know what to do about that. Okay, pieces are getting bigger. Hmm, just one time around works once it, once it gets bigger. Just adding a little bit more each time. Okay, once you get to like this part, the nape of your neck, I think Chelly actually switched to just large scrunchies and then you just kind of make little bubbles you go like an inch down I don't even know if I'm gonna call these videos like hairstyle tutorials they're more like let's watch Bianca figure this out and see if she does it videos <laughs> yeah I think I might like the look of bigger scrunchies or we could just kind of squeeze them out yeah that looks better Oh, almost gave up there for a second. <laughs> two, and just kind of puff them out. Maybe two more. Ta-da! Okay, there's one side. Not bad for my first try. That's all I'm gonna say. My hair looks long though. Now let's do the same thing to the other side. did it that was the hard part hard part is out the way now let's just make everything look a little bit cleaner with some edge control and some gel but overall I do think it's really cute it was a little more challenging for me just because I can never like you can't really see my scalp like I want to see the parts and I don't know what I'm doing wrong to where you can't really see the parts maybe I need to like twist them in order to see, but I don't know. Leave your comments and suggestions below on what I'm doing wrong as to why I can't see the separation in my hair. But I will keep practicing and hopefully it will get better in time. And let's lay down these baby hairs. 
actually, this feels a little loose. I'm gonna use some actual edge control. This is the Mayel Rosemary Mint Strengthening Edge Gel. All right, we did it, the final look. I think it looks really cute. It makes my hair look very long and, you know, stretched out. I do want to keep practicing though. This was my absolute very first time doing this. I want to figure out how to make my parts more prominent to where you can see them a little bit better. And I think I would do everything tighter next time. So even in the back, let me show you. Looks pretty good, but I'd wanna make this part not as loose. And that might mean using like real elastics and making it tighter, but not bad for my first try. But I want you guys to try this. Maybe try it this week if you don't have something to try for the week. And tag me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee so I can see your cute little, what do we want to call this? Poof braids? Little, little poof braids? I don't know, we'll think of a name, leave a name down below <laughs> what we should call this hairstyle. But thank you, Franchelli, for inspiring this look. And I will make sure to repost her tutorial on Instagram so you could see how neat she does it. I don't know how she does it, but <laughs> I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there by the end of the year. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee, today.